You are watching Liberty Online TV. This is Liberty Online TV powered by Orange Sierra Leone. Orange. Good morning and welcome to another edition of the Breakfast Show. We will come to you live from Liberty Online Television within our Facebook, YouTube, and also now our website. We will bring the program come to you this morning. My name is Nakadija Bangora. And me, Na Al Hassan Koma. Good morning. Today is Friday, April 5th, and inside this edition of the Breakfast Show, we will look at education with a special focus on the concerns from students at the University of Sierra Leone on the ongoing exams. And also, we look at the Kush situation that the country, as the president, declared a public health emergency yesterday. Well, this and other stories, then are the program for you this morning. Remember, say you said for the watch, we get the opportunity for join the conversation. Send we your thoughts, your comments, now any of the platform the way they watch we this morning. We will read all our messages them later on inside the program. Well, earlier I'll tell you now, say today the Kaluki is concerned them with students them at the University of Salon from Frabe College, IPAM, and Commerce. Don't they raise for Seca challenge them where they say they get from where the first semester begin this year and the recent one that they all get. From do with students them we get the granting aid we then see that they get serious challenge for access some of their opportunity that's where governments don't get today well at the studio this morning for can we talk about then concern yeah where the students here get we get the public relations officer for the um, national union of students winner andrew chupele good morning andrew and welcome to the breakfast show good morning all right, so don't tell who viewers them, but some concern them, where students them, especially in Afro Bay College get, we make the big right an open letter to the Minister of Higher Education yesterday, where we go viral. Firstly, as a student union body, we don't hear from them concerned students here. We don't able to forget first hand information about some of the challenge them, where they don't get, because from where this first semester comments, we don't hear plenty concern them, we don't come out from only our constituents them when are the students them at the various universities um, yesterday we been getting a press conference on this and push and all that harmful substances and we've been there now if we sell a making corner so and um, at around 12 i received a call because the president left me and i've been getting something else for the ministry of um, um, Social media. So, yeah, so, yeah. so um, the president for for a big college called me and say students um, they don't ask them out of the exam room. Say all efforts for plead on them behalf don't go full time. But um, when we've been deep on this um, um, lobby for let them see how best they're able for 
handled the industrial strike. One of the things where the university administrators have been made clear to me that, that students are not agree for pay fee. And then, however, not to fee issue, no one of the issue is students in office. Because in fact, yesterday, I've been, getting, I've been trying to um, meet with the deputy registrar for Fuabe College, and then um, in semi categorically, in fact, they put out a press notice for later on C. Say, all the students um, will go out of the exam room because they want for sure loyalty and solidarity to their colleague students and because there are students who actually be don't pay fees but because of that sympathetic and empathetic waiting when they ask their colleague they're out they self go out so they are now saying they will take those exams as a reference exam and equally they will get for face disciplinary actions so in all of this um we don't get to some point where we are caught in the middle as in, we they at that point we we cannot ask students not to pay fees because at the end of the day the university need the money then they for operate and we cannot again say okay we are turning our backs on students at this point in time so which is why I'm saying we are caught in the middle already so in all of this um, what we feel say we 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 position will be. Now just for plead on behalf of the students and for this first semester so that they see how they go able for exercise a little bit of patience with them. I mean USL and uh, maybe the ministry by extension. See how they go exercise a little bit of patience with them. Then able for take this first semester exam as a grace period. Come second semester, let them make an hour most because by then and then they at least the university they exercise patience. You say within that basic term, you will see how you're able for join one and some bits and pieces together for raise something because they are asking that if you are able to pay at least 50 to 75 percent mm -hmm. of the fee, mm -hmm. you will have access to the exam room. Right. However, not so the only issue this way so around the first semester exam. Just and um, I think it was late last month I received the letter again from some concerned students and they are saying the university is asking them not to promote to final year because then we don't get skill as them, I mean references, one or two references when they were in year three. So the university is saying even when they don't take a first semester classes and they are now about they are about to take their first semester exams, I think at the eleventh hour, now in the university they tell them say you shouldn't be in year four, you should go back to year three. So means say if you get reference in first semester of year three, you should wait, you take those references, then next year now you become year four. Let, let me look at this issue we get for do um, with the students and wait and ask of the exam hall. As somebody with a represent student them. You know if you say this is alarming, you know, across the country as University of Sierra Leone, you know, for ask students them whenever they don't prepare for the exams, for ask them out. Other measures not the way the university for take. So it is quite unfortunate in Sierra Leone. Our universities they do not have any other means to hold students to ransom. I think two of the effect the effective ways the way they can hold students to ransom. One can be them and um, maybe uh, students are ready finally are for USL. You cannot graduate without you paying every cent where you owe the university. I think that has been one effective way. So um, um, at some point where you want to graduate because it's a joyous occasion, it's a one in a lifetime occasion, you will be tempted for pay everything where you owe them. And so that has been one way. And another way where they use for, for, for whole students them to ransom, it is asking them out of the exam room, which to me is a key call already. Because come to think of it, we, we, we are intending to match up to the standard of the sub sire and maybe subsequently the standard of the international and, 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 and the globe. Yeah? And if we are planning to do so, there should be other ways that we should hold students to ransom when they do not pay fees. I think sometime last month I was here again discussing student-related issues, and I made it clear that one of the thing, the, one of the things that is becoming so burdensome on students, why they self-knock you on for pay fee, because 
because they are paying for things that they are not enjoying at all. So it can feel like we they pay for services where we know they get. So if we are paying for stuffs, let us get those stuffs. It boils down to all of those things again. Because only composite fee, when you check everything, this morning before coming here, I was going through the composite fee and everything with sum up. There are things that are so realistic. They're so unrealistic. Medical. How more students will seek now commerce? I, if I pump, they don't get any medical facility there. Maybe commerce and for a big college. For a big college, then get some one palo and waiting. But how can students access medical facilities on campus? Very unrealistic. Talk about professional fee. How more students and they go on field trip? We don't get for payback after them pay professional fee. I know of students in the sciences, when they don't pay professional fee and the department or the faculty want for organized field trip, they will ask them to pay again. Even when they don't pay professional fee, when then they pay their fee again. You come down to ICT and ID card. They are paying for ICT and ID card. Ask a more students. Yesterday, students take me, I don't even know saying a student. And they go and grumble about ID card where they don't get it. And yet they're asking colleague they out. So myself just play along. Let, let pressure on they because the pressure already did. So I just play along. I'm all students and they get ID card. Where, oh, sorry, where they pay for ID card, they don't get the ID card at all. So it is high time the, the ministry backed up with the university administrators face the reality there and see how they go handle so the reality there. How don't they engage the ministry of technical and education? Let we've, you don't, you don't we've been engaging the necessary authorities for quite some time now. NUS has not been in existence for like nine years. We only come last year. And since we come, all of the issues there, in fact, what I did, once we, we take up office, we organize a national student tour. Because there was no way we are going to work with a NUS we already knew when we don't know the concerns of students and equally so before now um, private universities and colleges they were not part of NUS. NUS been just there for government institutions so what we did we brought them in again because they are also Sierra Leonean and they are also studying in Sierra Leone because if we recover students away they are outside of Sierra Leone then we should also cater for them so we brought them in mm -hmm. and we don't try to forget seas of engagement seas of dialogue for see how we are able to forget the ministry plus the university administrators for really you know say some of them things here they should be handled especially when it comes to fee and the unrealistic things that we tied to them because if we are able to get rid of those unrealistic charges then you notice say the fee not a bit so exorbitant then students can afford there are students when they defend for themselves they don't get parents, they don't get SLG. They fend for themselves. And if they are fending for themselves, and if it's so exorbitant, then they have some other things to attend to, then they will attend to them things and they force because the, 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 the thing has been before you graduate finally, you they pay the only fee. So they don't mind gathering all of those, accumulating all of those. Finally, however, they know say by Mukoku, they will have to pay at the end of the day. So they can they can they can able for jam the head here and there and see how they go able for pay. So these are some of the things we should be addressing. Those are the realistic charges. Once we're able for get rid of them, you they see say students and they for pay because I made an analogy the other day when I was here. If I go to a restaurant and I order for food and I, and I ask una for una sides and I just the menu when I una main menu I bring without bringing the sides where they pay for, why should I pay for the sides? Not just go ahead and pay for the normal menu where nine I order for the normal food where I order for. So that is what is happening at the University of Sierra Leone and other universities. It, it, it goes surprise you for no say it is not just a thing we just they happen at the University of Sierra Leone. Even Jala, Jala then lost students and they pay over twelve thousand, which is twelve million old Leos. A, a public university. A public university, which should be a bit flexible and a bit mm mm considerate. They are paying twelve thousand. Go to other universities. If I uni mark and mm, -M, the administration and the, the students, they are out cost. Twelve thousand is for undergraduate course. Undergraduate law, undergraduate course. Wow. So you see how exorbitant then they are they and imagine most students when they eat low, these are students with their parents and okay, we go we go try, we go pay for the first degree. But if you want to go and read law, it is on you. And so then students here get for crack day for raise twelve thousand. For our college we are talking of ten thousand and plus. 
and there are students when they get for hustle for their ten thousand come and pay. So what if they don't get any the sad reality now? Say these students they might not be even working. They're not even get place for work. So how do you expect them in a very short and on a realistic term for his ten thousand, or approximately for his eight nine thousand, which is the seventy five percent, where the university they ask for. So these are some of the things we should be addressing. And then in in in, in quite unfortunate that you also get students that way they equally go give them fear and they use them for something else. It is quite unfortunate. But students that we get genuine reasons. Why they know they pay for us and they say students when and then defend for themselves. I am not justifying because ego fiba like news they justify something now we we're not legal at all. I am not justifying them not paying fee. I am only saying if we're able for forget read of their on realistic charges then they then we are able for convince students and better for pay fees because the fees will be less and also waiting and they pay for them go get them because i'm all students again come to uh, the, the tutorial and waiting the teaching i'm all students they go to campus and the lecturer teach them I'm all students go get class in the morning nine o'clock you don't reach na campus at nine lecturer call you say hey but i get some other schedule let me do now one o'clock and they not show up. Let me do three. Let me do four. They not show up at all. These are some of the things we should be addressing. Because if we want them to pay, they should also value for money. The economist will tell you there should be value for money. If I am paying for this, land no say I they pay for this. Land no say I they get the 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 waiting the, waiting that they pay for, there is worth. It, it, the value day, but if I am paying and that's you know the value no day, I am not saying they are not offering the value. But if then they then they ask for some charges, let them offer those charges. But if they not get the ability for offer them charges today, let us take them off and be realistic to ourselves and to our conscience. Because tomorrow, if you they ask for something for pay for something, we you not know they enjoy. Posterity will judge you. Posterity will come back to haunt you. So let us see how we're able to get the extra charges here. Again, when I talk about SLG students and we don't get access to the exam room, it is because from last academic year, they are now asking students with Sileon grant in aid to pay extra charges on their own. And it all boils down to the fact that the government has not been paying the extra charges monies to the university authorities. So they self say, if we know they pay with money and we they do free service, now in order for be free altogether. No problem. SLG will go on because initially SLG not before they even last year. So what they did, they say, okay, we'll meet at a point. We cannot deny you. But what thing will happen? Students will pay extra charges on their own. Governments will pay the tuition fee on their own. So if we not pay the tuition fee in an instance, we go get the student them for pay the extra charges. You still get to pay an extra charges? That's the that's just the for, because granting it from your understanding since I was a kid. Now now some some help where the government they, they render to students with less privilege, I'm sorry to say, we're not able for, for afford the the financial prerequisites of the university. Then they that I'm free, not free. You're not expected to pay anything anymore. In fact, when President Mio came into power, he said, I am quoting him directly, that all MM, MM, university lecturers and we get students and within a university, they are going to give their children SLG. So means saying are free. You should not pay for any one combo you're not supposed to pay. But like I said initially, because of the amount of money where the, the, the government, the owe the university administration, they say we cannot continue to run a free bono program, a bono program again. If you want us to give SLG, in fact, the first MM, MM advert we come on, only for ladies, them, only for girl picking it within the university. And we have to say no. If you're preaching gender equality, it should start from you. So we go back and go back and forth, go back and forth and all of them thing, and then we tell them, not only female students that we get on campus, you can say, okay, you're giving this percentage to them and this percentage to also the male students on campus. Because if we are the marginalized student, then, then the, the male student, then they come back for let them get some, some grievances against the female student. This, uh, 
um, Glancy Nilo, they talk about and go. It's sad for no say even the money where the government they pay for the students that we get the grant in aid. Now like 50-50. Now just half of the entire fees government they pay. And then students that they get for begin think back, they go through the hassle but, and raise but the money. I cannot, I know they argue that out. In fact, for us in situation, there are instances where the extra charges higher than the, the fee where the government they pay. Because there are students where they pay 4,000 plus extra charges. Just 4,000 plus. And the government tuition fees, because like I said initially, their extra charges in the, now they will pass the fee. Because if you check, the fee will be around 2500 or thereabouts. And not they up to 3000 I can challenge that. And not they up to 3000 Now, they all the composite fees and they, they all the half half waiting. Now, then they sum up to them, but waiting and they. So, you notice say now, when that day they happen, if government don't say, okay, we they pay 2500 we they pay 3000 we they pay 4000 then it come back to the students for pay over four 5000 Students at the law department, they pay over 4000 plus extra charges were equivalent to just the fee where you be the pay back then so how how helpful is that because you're helping a student who cannot afford the financial obligation of the university and you also they ask them back for go fend 4500 or above for campaign university how realistic is that and when they tell them say we in slg students and we are slg holders they will tell them have you paid your extra charges we're so, it's so burdensome on, on them again. They, some of these students, they don't come off from the provinces. They do not have anybody to support them. They do not have any parents, any guidance to run to. They just hope, say, because even the SLG for label forget them, you have to fight, you have to fight. You get for, you get for, you, it, it's so, so crazy. From the start of everything, for label forget them, it's so burdensome. And thankfully, you don't get them, but it's also burdensome again, even after we don't get them. From your analysis, with all the challenges, the concern, the more the students don't count to now as the parents body, one go just one for conclude, say, for let you get a higher education as salon, it's really stressful and challenging. What's that the problem, they, um, Andrew? It is no secret, Madam Khadija, that we education system so frustrating. I was speaking with the deputy registrar, Mr. Brahma Ba, for Fabi College, and I told him, one of the two will make students and they left USL and other universities and no one for come back, now because I want to treat them. Fabi College, the most expensive building on the shores of Fabi College now, was erected, was built by one of the students we attend for Abbey College, Mr. Tunde Cole. That, that building expensive past all the building them right now, sophisticated past all the building them. Imagine if they mean they expose them to their ill treatment here. He has other things to, to do. And if I just don't, don't channel the energy into doing those things, and imagine how we they treat with students them. If we continue like this, will they come after graduation Will they come? And some of their students here, then get something for offer to the university after graduation. So how do they treat students? It is as if, come, get your degree, you come out to this place, you know how for no, if you come, you know how for no, if you not come. And it subscribe to that. It believes in that one and then the thing where they happen. Because imagine we get the, the, the MM for Abbey College Old Students Association across the globe. But what are they doing? It is not as if they don't get good intention for the university, but when they were there, waiting the university really showed them, say, I, I sent a message to the deputy registrar yesterday concerning the student, the way that they ask, not for go finally, yeah? and I pleaded to his conscience that now on are at a point for, 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 for implement a very stringent policy on their students. I go surprise you for no say. There are hundreds of students who are not get for graduate if this policy hold. These are students who might not communicate to their family and say we are graduating this April. These are students who their family and they expect say maybe they not communicate but their family and not say they should graduate in April. These are na, na, pe, na students who don't communicate to their family in the province and they are set to come. Some, some parents don't even come. Some family relatives are now in town. They hope say we begin a graduate now for Abbey College and they will not be graduating. 
because of this policy. Imagine if then students and they suffer this. What do you feel say go be the reaction? Some students are already depressed. Yesterday are going to campus. I I that come out today. I come I couldn't stand that. It was so emotional. Students and they cry. Then they cry being like the public. Imagine some mature person to map in the public. They cry uncontrollably. I couldn't stand that. So Andrew, who's I who said the problem? Mm. The problem, the problem comes back to the university administration and the ministry. Because for far too long, we don't they tell them, say, in fact, this policy, students will tell you, we are not aware. The communication line between the students and the university is so thin. It's so very thin. They will issue out a policy from senate as they will say but how they go communicate unto the students very poor but one go ask say what the una they do as a body because the students so the students thing is so we are the national students body but so when, you go, when you go when you go to kwabe college mm -hmm. they have their student union government there when you go to ipam is the same when you go to commerce you go to jala and every other campus around it's the same if they're able to solve issues just like how this day now, they will call us because we, not, we cannot jump those structures. Those structures are they at the campus level. So, for instance, for Fabe College or USL, when they're the first day is here, they should pick it up first with the student union government in those campuses. The student union government will reach out to us now because, again, all the sitting MM student union president, now vice president to NUS. So means say they are part of news. So if it means say if the university in any way they communicate to the sitting student union government, they don't communicate to we because we will know. So we don't know because they did not communicate to the student union government on these very campuses. So like I mean they say initially, when their issues there they come up, if they communicate them to the different SUGs them, it is now on the SUGs for because then get the minister the minister of education on campus. When I walk down there for reach out to students and say there is a new policy now. This, this, and this, nine are the, the requirements for let you proceed from one year to the other. It will surprise you to know that when we go IPAM on Tuesday, students and then when they know each final year, the university they tell them, so you should go back to their own. Now, there you did. Imagine, you don't they pay fee, you don't they go, and they are telling them that students they promote themselves. How students they promote themselves when you're there to make sure you issue out a statement of result, a seasonal result, at the end or before the start of the academic year? The problems within a campus, um, Andrew, is so much uh, confusing because you self not part of them problem, Benny, because you still did at the shores of Rabi College. Yeah. For example, exam they go on now. Students will get exam nine o'clock according to in timetable. You know, go take an exam test on ten then one. Where you talk to the examiner and go say um, question paper they not cut it. Hall not they for long nasty dom. All of them things, then they, it just chaotic. We go to the different campus system, especially them then now like this where exams stay. On another all engagements with the ministry, we're responsible for higher education. Is it really then they listen to students and concern them? When myself and the president went to Russia early this year for a conference that the students in Russia they had a conference and they extended the invitation to us, I was ashamed. I was ashamed of myself because we've been there for stop first Nagana for some, and um, we've been there for wait for the, the, the All African Students Union president say we pick them up and we all been there for go. So um, um, when we got when we get to Ghana, it surprised you for noticing some of their issues they are where we the battle with. They, they they are done with these issues. They don't done with them. The, not so the issues in there again in the face. In fact, the issues now are how they for challenge universities in Europe and other continents where they do very well. Now then are the issue now. Not so issue but students for sit exam at at nine, they sit at five. As in Apple na IPAM. Imagine you don't put you don't expose the students to pressure force before they sit the exam because already the student don't come with the mindset say ah me this exam I don't even know how we get for day and you don't come if I sit at nine only for let you tell and say we they sit at five now 
In fact, yesterday, students go to farm. Now they don't do not campus, so they cancel the exam. Imagine there, there is. So you see how I say about communication within the administration itself, because if you know this now exam, we're not able for communicate to today. Communicate unto the students then before them. Imagine how much students they live at the outskirts of Freetown. They will have to leave to come for their exams. And only for let them come, exam not happen. These are some of the things. And like you rightly say, it is as if the, the, the authorities them, they take students them for granted. It is as if then they feel like ah, they go adjust. Uh, uh, now so it don't do. Like we can say, ah, salon, let we just. It is as if Nadane they don't subject to it too. But it should not be business as usual. I told the minister yesterday, was, she was at the press conference, she was there, and I told her, because I normally call her mom, I said, Mama, we get for come back in our office to you. Some of the issues they already discuss with you, it is as if we they go get round table discussion on a gooey bottle of water, we drink bottle of water, we come out there, and when we come back, for students, they want instant action, instant result. They don't care about a dialogue. When this policy thing they go on, everything where students they want to follow, I wake up one morning, I follow you, news wake up one morning, you say press release, say this issue don't be resolved, on a day finally, on a get for graduates and all of them, thing, and they, they don't want to know the dialogue, on a day engaging, they don't want to know, they know anything. So I told that we'll be coming again. And if feel like if we are if we are done exhausting all of these means that we have, and we not get the results we're supposed to forget, then we'll be left with no other option than for take the bull by its own. We are not feel safe for being resort because we all know how student mm mm insurrection can be like. We do not want to get we do not want to get to that point. So we want to see how we're able to exhaust all of the means at we because we don't have to be the news way publicly. We 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 don't they don't push it to that end. It's not like we 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 not don't get to that end. But we still want to see how we can engage in constructive dialogue. Today again students and get exam this morning, they don't even know if they get for go ask them out of the exam room. Yes, they should pay fee. But we are pleading to the university administration to see how best they will get this first semester to be a grace period. And after this first semester, we'll make sure we engage on a robust campaign. Encourage students to pay their fees before the second semester exam so that we don't get to this point that we are already. And all of them things there, so we don't outline. Somebody they listen to you and get first hand testimony from a student within at the university. They talk about all the challenges they wait to all they go through. You even make mention, say, Salo University is on one side way where you go there for your first degree, you no go ever want for good again because of the challenges. This is not a government we say them prioritize education education and human capital development they are the top priority it really they reflect now the educational sector um this this issue now age long issues them go to Fuabe college and other campuses they will tell you we don't get sitting accommodation we don't get place uh, spaces for take lectures and um, a long list of other problems, same um, way, don't they linger on for a while now. We were expecting the, the present government because in the first five years, because now they are saying they get the, 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 big, um, um, the big five and waiting. When they took up office in 2018, education was their flagship program. And I believe it is also at the core of everything we then they do. So um, um, some of their issues there, we really expect them to handle them better and for CISA we solve them before then they ever left governance. But it is as if they say, okay, well, we meet them. Let me just go like how we meet them and that kind of thing. But it should not be business as usual. Because if you're prioritizing education like you stated, then there should be a change in the narrative. 
there should be a change. We foresee, we foresee say the, the paradigm don't shift a little. We know for day pan the same thing where we be day pa. When the people alone are say not be prioritized, education being day. Because if you're now prioritizing education, then we for they see excellence in the educational sector. But the issues are still they linger on. So it means that we should go back to the drawing board and maybe prioritize something else and not education. Listening to the president's speech yesterday, it is so disheartening that you get some amount of students say, I know of a, if I'm not to a colleague, a classmate of mine who has lost his future to Kush. And this a student will be defend for himself, pay fee for himself, he gets to some point, he cannot do that anymore, he left. And when he left, there was nothing better he could do than for his sort to drug intake. And now he don't lost his future. A very young promising fellow and you get host of other students, if we continue for the press hard on them, let them remember, say, then are parents them. When you're there, when you're in a position of authority, especially at educational level, you're not parents. Parents, you know, the press speaking to some level, so they way, you know, they come back. Now push and pull. You they push them, you go and come back. If we are so hard on them, and then go back down town, then go back the, na, na, na the different communities, those students will be so disgruntled, those students will be so depressed that even the Kushfet, where we defend, and the government don't declare a public health emergency on them, it go feel like we know they win them. Because they will go again and feel, say, now this will give me solace. So let me know, say, the problem them, now one means to an end. When we solve this, we're able to solve this. If we are able to get a university to get a very good relationship with the student, then we're able for CC, then students and when they come down to they're able for change some of the problems that we will face as society. But if we be so 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 mm confrontational with them, when they come down, if problem they happen here, not to me business. Because when they were at the university, the university not teach them how to get a human relationship with people around them. Since when you join the university, what are some of the things that we they enjoy being a student <laughs> and also the positive things that we don't happen at now you can post. I am, I am, I think this is my seventh year at the, 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 the University of Sierra Leone, Fuabe College to be specific, and I can categorically tell you that it has been one problem to the other. Ask other students and they will, maybe me own, I will say, Papa God, I tell you thank you. But there are other students, they will tell you from year one, it has been one, from one problem to the other. The university you know they give you that kind that kind memory where when when you did self you go gladly. I tell you if I don't get business at campus, I need go day. Because the environment itself don't become so toxic for students eh, that after lectures now come more than one for commodity. I'm a student going for hang around campus after lectures. And not of Abbey College no more, across the board. Because then they maltreat students eh, to some point. That you know they're glad if you're even there around, you know they're even happy. Students are wasting they can graduate. It don't done. That's the end of it. I met up a friend the other day, and then we, we did our first program together. And then when are they ask me, man, you lost so much. Let's say, hey, sit back after three, four, after three years, they go up for a big, uh, wow. After three years. And this is a policy we don't necessarily own all through the entire year. Then they. But the university don't get no reason for even glad they one day say, okay, out of this me few, uh, free time, let's go work on a campus and see how they turn like. Nothing like that one day. So let us see how we'll be able to address some of these issues before they come back to haunt us as a nation. Because the very future leaders and the human capital development where the government, they say they prioritize, this is the very human capital development we are fighting against. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> it's like na, na paradoxical statements now. On a, if, because if we are fighting against a very system we are trying to build, then it's become an irony now. Because if we ask students um, out of, and we are trying to capacitate them so that they will be able to take up leadership positions when we are not there tomorrow. But if we ask them, if we tell them not for graduates, if we tell them because of some policy we will set up where we don't even communicate, if we are asking them not to continue with their educational strive, then we are telling them we should not capacitate you. We are telling them, una, we know even, that no talk, we just talk a normal. Like, where Creole man can say, what on a motto to load on a head? We just talk them. 
And so we should see how we fulfill everything what they say to the latter. We want for B, we born. If we are prioritizing human capital development, there should be plan B. That if students are not pay fee, this money for day, what they will for use while they get the students and for pay fee. Yes, they should pay their fees. But we forget a plan B. We get some cough away with the keep. Say, okay, students and we expect say because of the economy. Think again about the economy. Let us be realistic. Think about the economy. Another issue again with the student around the is now that normally before now they can get recess. During that recess that they tend and they use for do all the verification there in terms of grade and other issue them where they might don't get throughout the, the semester. But this time around no recess. In fact, even the um, promotion list that the net before the first paper they release up. And some of them list thank you. And some of them list then they and can get error. So my name not even appear. Either you pass or you fail. You don't know you fail, you don't know. Nothing waiting to happen. Where you go for go sit and pull you out of the exam. Hall. Tuesday, Tuesday, I think it all started on Tuesday. 9 30, some students they reach out and they were like, Hey, they don't publish pro, a provisional pass list to we name no day. A class of 80 something, not just 10 people and named in at the pass list. Then I say, Waiting at the problem. They say, We don't even know waiting at the problem. Oh. Only for let them go on a campus on Wednesday when they get an um, um, exam, it was not a fault on their path. So you see how we can want for victimize students. What if then students and they be sit down and they also not go take that exam, not go challenge the issue, say, we are fit and proper to take this exam, to be in this class. What if they be sit down and be naive, afraid, so we know they go there. So I told them, what do you know they do? On a go there tomorrow and try for channel on a complaint to the appropriate authorities. If we not, if they don't listen, on a reach out, we go come in. So, like I tell you, this are some of the things that really make students um, they feel like they don't value we, they don't want for no but we. Now, and they, 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 they forget say students them um, now the primary clients them within them camp. If students are not there. We cannot get the Ministry of Technical and Higher Education or the Ministry of Basic and Secondary, uh, Secondary Education because they are there to serve students, pupils. They are there to serve the educational community. So if then they, if they, if they, if they deprive we of what we forget, then it means, say, if students say this, well, we know the land book again. Then waiting, waiting at the need forget all of their, their administrative setup then they. So let us come back to the drawing board and see how we're able for better handle some student issues them. Because if we're able for handle them, then it will come back to haunt us. The president in his speech yesterday, they refer to the youth as the very foundation of this country. As the very foundation. That was how he referred to the youth of this country. And if we are destroying the very foundation, it just feel like you don't build your building, then you call people for Mortis the foundation. So on a come Mortis Sam. One grade on a go just stay inside that building, if for don't can don't pounder, and it will be so catastrophic. So if the president is referring to the youth and the, 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 the youthful population within the university is so great. If the if if the youthful population great means say that is the foundation of the country, let us don't destroy the foundation of this very country that we now we own. If we not listen to anything, let us don't destroy the foundation of this country. If human capital development so work fine and good, but let we not destroy the foundation of this country. Because once we destroy the foundation of this country, we'll rely on Ghanaians, Nigerians, the Chinese, and other nationals to come and be administrators in our own country. What will become of Sahel Leone? If we own Sahel Union, same, we own picking them, no able for take leadership position today because we deprive them of the very things that we go capacitate them for be fit and proper for take up leadership positions, then it should be scary. It should be scary. Let the university see how they go able for exercise a little bit of patience with their students here so that they take the exam same, I mean across USL and every other campus where they, yes, students and for pay fees, but let this be a grace period so that come second semester we'll join that campaign to make sure we'll get our colleague students to pay their fees before the commencement of the second semester exam. And equally so, before I, I round off, 
the policy thing. Let me see how we go able to forget because from my understanding, the policy for start this 2023-2024 academic year. Now for start. So students um, way no way, I mean the one the way they are one now. So if students don't left third year, last academic year in, his, in the final year now, and you're only asking that student out of the university when he feels saying that it's this for done. As the round of Andrew, with all the engagement in Una do do with the uh, university administration, um, don't they ever listen to some of the um, cries and the cry with regards to students um, and all that. But it's like you don't they talk on this issue, it's very serious for all the three campuses. Yeah. Waiting on our action plans after we are go down. So for now, we are still exhausting all of the means at our disposal. Especially with the poll, because the exam by by the end of this month and for second week next month will be done with that. But the policy thing, that is something will follow till the latter. Because to my understanding, especially for Fuabi College, now just some set of department, now then they now then they insist say students and offer go final year. Whilst other departments them, even when the students and get reference are three. They allow them for go final year and they are taking this exam. And so the department they say nothing will not allow you to proceed to the final year because you have a thriller when you are in year three. While so if 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 it happen, let it be an all rounder. If not so an all rounder, then that is marginalization at the very highest peak. So we'll follow that to the latter. But we are still engaging in that. But we know for each to that level. So we are still pleading that they see how they go get the students here for complete their cause and make sure say this policy now be effective to the one the way they are three now so that they know that you know they come away at three go here four if you have a trailer. So if they get any trailer when they are three, they make sure they clear that before going to year four. But so when the person they are four done done first semester classes and is about to take exam you they ask them for left the university so let us see how we we'll handle this and let me see say we give them consension we give them just that consension okay let me just sit here and bet fat foot we let them say una go not a problem una this one na grace na grace for you now but every other one be here una we make sure because myself the deputy registrar and other people we went all around for a big college yesterday from year one year two year three Announcing to them that they should know that once you get reference, now any class you for clear and before you they go to the other class. In fact, now it is sad, well, not even sad. Students they don't know. We've announced to them yesterday that if you they are one year two, you get any reference year one, you know they go year two, you should clear that. And if you fail and for the second time, you they can't non force. So that they don't know. We've communicated that. But because we not communicate them to the one the way they are finally are now, let us give them a grace period. You think they will listen to Nandu? We are hopeful that they will listen. But if they do not listen, then we are left with no other option because the students are where they face these hundreds of this. They are just waiting for us to tell them that we don't try, but we're not able. We're not going to take up an action and we're going to get with support. I spoke with the president yesterday before having the meeting with the DR at Fawabi College, and he told me, go and on a, exhaust first every other means. We are exhausting every other means. And if you're done exhausting every other means, it not happen. Tell the students and say, oh, we don't try. And it not happen. Because when the pressure they come, before each the president force me as the public relations person, and then I me directly the deal with them, it don't, it don't come first for me better, better one. So he told me, if it not work, Tell them they're not listening, and so let them do what they want for do. So if na rampa if they want to go on the rampage, self, we will be behind them if they're not listening to we. But we know how to get to that point. So let me see how we address all of the issues here before we get to that point where no say we know how to get as a country. All right, many thanks, Andrew. Will you join me in the studio? Um, Andrew need for left free because we need for go back to campus. Well, that now be Andrew Chopele in the public relations officer for news. Every day we in the studio this morning, they talk about various challenges that we encompass students and they get at the University of Salon, especially them they like this now, where they're about to take the exam. And we will continue for engage you so that we will know the outcome of our engagements and when they get to the relevant authority. Many thanks for joining me this morning. You're welcome.
All right, continue for watch Liberty Breakfast Show. We they come now and look at another issue we get for do with the Kush. As yesterday, we see the president will declare them as a health emergency. We will come look inside that other issue. They will take this quick break. We will come back and go look at the topic we get for do with Kush. This is Liberty Online TV powered by Orange Sierra Leone. Orange. This is Liberty Online TV powered by Orange Sierra Leone. Orange. This is Liberty Online TV powered by Orange Sierra Leone. Orange. Welcome back. As um, you see, the watch Li Liberty Television, as we therefore bring you the very best of information. Well, from this, we will take you now court and bring it to you this report as the number 29 witness inside the court martial trial when a Colonel Van Bart Colonel before Judge Advocate uh, Magebo uh, inside High Court number two, we then be the testi testify uh, inside in November 26 last year. Cool. Well, um, then talk say, um, whilst the gunman and be they move around, uh, more Tom, then be able for see later boot in body be laid on, and of course, then be able for get back to um, the gunman. Then we report our uh, matter to come again more and we now report. Thursday, April 4 this year, the number 29 witness inside the court martial trial, Colonel Amber Ate Colonel, appear before the judge advocate Mageba na High Court number 2. When the trial be start, the state prosecutor, JAKCC, called the witness and asked him if a member will be testified before the court. The witness said yes. The prosecutor asked him again if a member we then be arrested number six accused winner Edward Kuma, we then can call Smolly. The witness answer say yes. The prosecutor asks him again, we in be check the six accused in many tablet if he see picture them and waiting happen. The witness say after where the accused open in tablet, he see the picture them and continue say he tell the accused say if he talk, he go help him. Where the accused talk, the witness say he ask the accused how he go able help him. The accused say he will call name them we involved by the operation. He called Sergeant Janet we a driver na the Joint Logistics Unit. The witness continues say we in go to the tablet. He see one name we na Sergeant Abu Dauda. When he asks the six accused, he tell him say na them all day by the operation. And the accused tell him say he will call Abu Dauda. And we in dial the phone and call Abu Dauda. The witness say then put the phone loudspeaker. Where Abu Dauda answer, the six accused ask him, who say in day? Abu Dauda tell him, say, he did not cock him. And the accused say, in day na JLU, make them team up, so he end the call. The witness say, the accused call other person, when a Woody, and ask him, who say in day? And the person say, he did Congo cross. And the accused say, he want team up with them. The witness continue say, he sent team for go arrest them, and later give them to the military police. And ask Major Jasko for go look for Sergeant Janet, but they not see him. Where then they return, they hear firing at the JLU. When they reach at the scene, he meet Posse Lidon at Ron, when a leather boot. And three of his soldier man them die. He also notice say Sergeant Al Haji Kuma bin Dede. The witness say they hand over a leather boot and the other gun man them to the military police. The state prosecutor, JAKCC, Give the witness exhibit ABR 1 to 22 and ask them say page 7 when a container and motor car if then they not the six accused in tablet. The witness say yes. The prosecutor show them back page 18 and ask the witness who's building that. The witness say na in unit inside the joint logistics unit. The prosecutor tell them back say page 20. The picture shows say Na container, fence, and iron gate. Outside Dandy, the witness say na inside JLU then day. The prosecutor say page 21 show Boku container them outside them day. The witness say na headquarter them day. The prosecutor ask them again for describe them. The witness say some of the container them na they then can keep arms and ammunition with military in them. The prosecutor ask them say November 26 last year if they use them. The witness say yes. They end up ask them again say if it be make statement, but waiting happen. The witness say yes. 
The defense lawyer for the six accused, I.A. Kamara, cautioned the witness and asked and say, when in be they give in statement, in talk say, in they use in power for help the accused. The witness say yes. I.A. Kamara tell him say, a correct for say, the accused deny say, in all day the operation. The witness say yes. The lawyer continues say, in they tell the witness say, in use in power for let the accused involve in self, but the witness say, in no use in power na encourage and encourage the accused. The lawyer asks the witness back who that will arrest the number six accused. The witness say na order and get to his soldier man them. The lawyer put unto the witness say na way the six accused tell him say na Sergeant Janet gets the tablet make ego for go arrest them. The witness reply say the accused no ever tell him that. The lawyer asks the witness if they arrest Sergeant Janet, but the accused say they no arrest them. The lawyer tell the witness say he correct for talk say. Where the witness order for go arrest Sergeant Janet, and where they not see him, now that make it tie the accusing hand. The witness reply say, that's not correct. The lawyer put him back to and say, the witness use in power for tell the accused say, it will save him. Now that make the accused talk where it not be. The witness say, he use in power for protect the accused, and if he not be do that, in company for kill him because it expose them. The judge advocate, Mageba, adjourned the case to Friday, April 5 this year. The state prosecutor them na JAKC, Colonel MBS Kamara, Lieutenant Colonel M.A. Seri, Captain YBCC and other one them, the defense lawyer them na Adima Koli, A.I. Kamara, I. Bangura, C.I. Williams and other one them, for Liberty Online TV, Ramatu Kamara the report. All right, so we continue with the breakfast show. They come to the live from the online television. That now date will come out from the court martial trials where they go on now for Seka the November 26th coup cool attempt. We continue with the breakfast show. If they look at another issue as to tell Una earlier, we they can look at the Kush as yesterday President built na in state of nation address it been declared as a public health emergency. Well, plenty question with plenty of people they ask Nana that if the president they tell him make this public declaration. Declaration at the time this or if we don't make an earlier on. And one party people will be done by this advocacy for call on government for declare this particular pandemic as a public health emergency. Now, Robert Kondo, we a co founder and chairman for Health Network Sierra Leone. And on the line now, we get Robert Kondema with the with we as to the car look at Westerns Bureau. He had guess if now waiting salon people and they expect if now ten elect this, the people and they expect the president for declare Kush as a public health emergency. Good morning, Robert, and welcome to the breakfast show. Good morning, thank, thank you so much for having me. Pleasure, pleasure. All right, your organization now one of the organization them will be done the advocates for ensure say the government take this particular push pandemic in the country now very serious and self at some point when I'm, when I'm, they say the president for declare them as a public health emergency. Finally, yesterday the president addressed the nation. He talked about how this particular push done the damage the young people around the country and self it gets economic effect from our organization waiting on a makeup of. President Bill in speech, where he do to the nation last night. Well, thank you very thank much. Very much. Uh, first, 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 uh, and we they speak on behalf of the people of this country. So the president's speech yesterday, it be timely and exactly what we will look for. What we will look for for na in the presidency yesterday. Hello? Hello? You get me? There's a problem with the light. What? Hello. Hello. 
All right, viewers, we go continue with the breakfast show as we still be the talk to Robert Kondema, we are the co founder and chairperson for the Health Network Sierra Leone. And the program now will look at President's bill in speech will be made last night, also I declare push as a public health emergency. Yes, Robert, we still there with you now the studio. In the gallery now. Robert, in the gallery we now. All right, whilst we they try for get robots, we they look at another issue we get for do this same topic we they look at. As yesterday, we reporter Al Hassan Kuma Bingo Waka Nadishem a bridge in Alomli, also Liberty Online Television get information say young people the way they take the kush now under this bridge then time now and then we get confrontation with law enforcement body them as they be good day for pull them property and the alleged say they'll be able for pull all them property there and they be to where I'm not got her as then they under this bridge because they don't get side for tap. We report her Alastan Koma be go work yesterday and he go now report. Hello yes. well today we're going to go under the bridge um, through the help of House of yeah, Happiness, yeah, we're able to locate this particular place. We say lots of it's mad in the sea. We are under the bridge that you can see from the video. We are under the bridge, some of them are under the sea. This is a call for concern as we get um, information. Say, a um, group of um, you know, um, policemen have become raided in this particular area. We say our best thing to do. Uh, move away then you man there but as they look how things they go on most of them guys are not get place to sleep and with the regards to this push business this push reading across the country don't let them uh, with no place for inside of the and this um my help will come from house of happiness we're able to locate this particular place as we don't care for can get information from them well a week ago so on that day basically because we do some job so we sit down on Saturday. Eh? So Saturday we sit down. There is short meeting on Saturday. So we don't have meeting. We will see the ops commander for Plumbly. We have Mr. Tony. We have the ops commander, the officer. So I can I can see two. All of them own white on. So my own Latia gas, so my own life. Different kind of ammunition for you inside the house. So it come up on me, so we'll not be able to run if you say it come for cancer with a good news. But when we come, I gather all who can pass them. And then let me so I'm in a special. If you don't get a boost, let me push. So on that day when they come, on that day they start to have all environments, how we know it for what? So we sell this guy for us and what's up. The coffee sound of the news and what's up. So we're not just the regular school. As you can see, the pull on the proper city in our house here. The socket sound, what's up, it's an hour. Any two are for survival, even if you're bad. Please, the following way before another side for school. Because they go book me, please, you start to do it. They say, I'm saying, when I was at the way, you say, now, out of bad, that's no more. People are going to be here, they say, before we come up to see, we can develop the place. He said the people who go there are too bad and they forget the place. They go book me place. They go three room and fall out. One room and fall out. So they go book the old two. So Mr. Self, I'm not going to say who's at the who's at the lead. Now can join them in. I mean, party them. I show you. When I fall out, I'm not going to go to the next time. I'm 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 going to go to the next time. So that's no more meaning. We need to do that this area. So me, it's not like you know, they will provide for me that I will go on my home. Yeah, I will be happy. So happy. Now, which kind of support will they get from House of Happiness? Well, take or thank you because any children can now they make you happy because we dad and buy for years, they left for money, to do and you know, tell them, tell them, tell them, you know, you know, organization all the way, we don't make you happy that this place can this organization. 
to resign and think they got give them more more knowledge, more more zeal for for do for people that we no get. As you don't get from the um, guys that we still under the division alone, as they don't share the experience why they there, and we have some of the difficulties that we have to face with cigars to um <coughs> some of them we don't left we don't left the food and the food for school and the support we get from the house of happiness. But yeah on the one side inside some of them is good. Because of them for who most of them not able for sleeping on the ground. So they the fact of the pop inside the city and outside yeah some of them is still after we uh they're not able to get side for sleep down then the fact of sleep go up. If you can watch now from the video you will see say somebody they up when in that particular position they can sleep yeah. during the night. So this is the issue, and this is the cause of concern to the government of Sion, and also uh, for let them for take prudent measure for let them for help them your man there. As most of them are said, they don't really take push, but most of them in a place to not get to sleep, they make them be at this particular side. And for Liberty Online TV, and Hassan Puma, they be called. Alright, so welcome back. You see the Watch Liberty Television as we bring you all the reliable information we supposed to forget. Well, from that particular report, we get for the with Kush as some young man in the na the lonely uh, bridgeway na the then the um, sleep as they say they not get place for sleep. Well, we go take you to the another item inside the program as the director of crime na the salon police commissioner of police we na Ibrahim. Uh, Joseph Lai don't confirm. See from the railway, then go read um, the house of uh, Dauda Jalo and Admiral Bio. From that particular read, the way they read, they're not being able, according to allegations, we uh, be the go around see then get now people already do squish from the railway, they read, they're not able to forget anything at that particular house day. We um, allegations be done the raise upon them um, two people in there. Well, we report a mommy come and get more and go now report. As the Kush epidemic na the country still a concern to plenty people because of the kind way and manner how it kill plenty young people them na the country, the security sector, na one big sector we get great role for play for ensure certain tap Kush na salon. When a that make this be them, the salon police be all one meeting with journalists them na the police headquarter for go give updates about how the police done the work for ensure say they address Kush business na salon. Inside this meeting, the director of crime service, Commissioner Ibrahim Joseph Lahai, be talk about the raid where they do. Na Dauda Jalo and admire Bio Jalo the us for seca allegation where they make against them say they and they pan Kush. Wow, what are you this body here, see? Today, we storm the premises of Mr. Dada Jaro and his wife, Nama Itoji. We search the house, the five bedroom house, up and down. We search all the entire compound, all the goods back in that compound, all the kitchen facilities, the school, and everything. But nothing positive came out. So, that allegation on social media, I want to categorically tell you that the report say, the allegation say, Number one, Dutch drive, na my toti, na a factory for manufacturing narcotic drugs, or for store narcotic drugs, for distribute narcotic drugs, they don't prove for be true. Because we search in and out, nothing we don't really foresee. But notwithstanding that, I still wish the two of the man and the woman, I believe they can see it. For further questioning, for further questioning, detail. And as I talk to them now, I don't want to examine their phones then. And if I examine the social communication, to see if they get any link with any bureau, whether within or outside the radio. So, leaving no stone on top. For know how serious the police then be, for fets against Kush, Commissioner Lahai continue for give updates, but the amount of police officer them, where they don't sack because they aren't deep and Kush. Don't tell the police, and you have to return to the town and they ask me, you don't get recently for more long this full attack. The dismissal of six police officers uh, were found in possession of Kush, either in the cell up or in the smoke up or in the other in my pocket or in my house. We don't dismiss six. Uh, we get uh, uh, PC 16474, Mohamed Dubuya, OSD, who did they graft it. In fact, he did a contract at the first trial. We don't sack him already. Please don't depend on my turn not. We will not only sack you, but we charge you back criminally. You go all the way to be and then 
Uli charge them to court. Therefore, you policeman, not, not to be going a policeman. Uli charge you said, you said you will court to go jail. As I return to you now, you live on the road. I will also get Ibrahim Kamara, PC 158208. Now, my 13-year-old man is in a social media, only with the barber. He said, for those sakam, as I return to you, he said, you are on the road. He appeared to be a little good. He said, you are on the Then we also get PC 15576 Fatima Tadubuya in a purple Samaria under the Puget. The same Kush, the owner of 64 arms. He said, if you don't sack him, as I did talk to him, he said, they will be on the road now. They are on the road trial now. Then we go, we don't stop there. We also get Joseph TM Conte. He said, now where is he? Go attack the Amar Road, headquarters under. He said, the owner of Kush. We don't sack himself, and as I talk to the incident, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he get two military officers, uh, Aslav 1818-3893, Ibrahim Rogers, he said, he don't charge him, he said, he said, he get Aslav 1818-0552, Mr. Jouai, when a pump and a boot down, he said, 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 they would run after the civilian then, we would run after Wusef back. Anyone who would run in the farm. They are there, they all don't lose their job, and they don't have their The Director of Professional Standard, Sir Yomba Senesi, talk about the measure them, where they don't put in place, for fet against Kush Narikonski. If he can catch him, if he consume any substance on that Kush, or any drugs, he get for go. No secret car. Of course, you know, they read the names of the non mention. And not only that, but you do anything where no good, we fall short of regulations. We go punish you. Over the period, we don't dismiss officers for other offenses. We don't reduce their ranks. We don't send them on punishment. So, this is a very important uh, CDI did in the organization. Because we believe, say, in an organization like ours, if discipline not the within the happy. There's going to be total chaos. And I know we're good for the country. So that is why we need discipline with self force. We need to make sure say, when they come out here and the public, if we be smartly dressed, if we make sure say, you do anything we good in the size of the public, and we in, in conformity with the regulations there. The police end up calling on citizens in them for Jen Han with the police and governments for fights against Kush Komot Narikonski. For Liberty Online TV, Mohamed Kamara, the reports. All right, so we continue with the breakfast show. They come to you live from Liberty TV, now Facebook, YouTube, and also now our website, where they powered by Orange Sierra Leone. If you just they join with today, now the program will look at two different topics. They will first start for look at concern. We come out from students at the University of Sierra Leone. As we get the public relations officer for news, we now and Uchupele, a video with you at the studio. And after that, we they now look at the Kush situation at the country. As yesterday, we president will be addressed the nation, even declare him as a public health emergency and one party people them we don't they advocate for this particular issue now robert condema we na the co-founder for health network sierra leone a day with you now on the line as we've been getting some technical glitch them earlier on we've been connecting them. good morning robert and welcome again to the breakfast show All right, we still let try forget about Condema for the Igui Dayon side, which is the makeup of the public health emergency with President Bio yesterday inside a address. He been declare the Kush situation at the country as a public health emergency. We'll continue for look at more issues then we get for do with this particular topic as students them concern them come out from students them. We now young people them we the part of this problem with country they experience now. So yesterday we reported the video and Kisi said been go work at the university for talk to young people they're waiting and self make up of this particular situation. Let me listen to the video and Kisi say in report where he said at the studio. Brothers and viewers and listeners, this now Liberty Online TV as a discussion on Kush don't they continue. Also we see um, citizens across freedom be don't raise concern as to waiting government for do for help eradicate Kush in the country. Now for sake of this make Liberty Online TV Kawaka and FBC for the college. For like we seek the views of students there as to what they think, say government, 
need for do for like we will tackle coach at the country. Coach na addiction. But now, I come and think and back say na evil thing. Because the reason being that most teachers in our area are victims of push and they don't drive there because they take the team. And also, push, you can see someone in condition, in case in condition, in condition, he was, and they still take the team. Like, if in an addiction, waking day for lady person change. All right. But now, they take us in an evil thing because even though you cannot say yes, your condition or worse, you can still go back. You go by the crucial taker. So, crucial a bad thing and an evil Me on thinking, now the one that way they manufacture push, and now they are the bad people there. The government need for make way for me they left for manufacture push. If not, why pick it? They don't know at this country because you can see some students there. They no, they no focus. They they, they, they attend. They no go class again. They just don't they, they, they don't homeless. They didn't have streets pass pass big. They are two thousand seven. They go back and go buy the push. So governments need for food stuff. And not only one the way they sell her. Not only one person they sell her. They need for now the one the way they manufacture push. Because even if you then stop that that person, okay. Even if I get person in the way they sell push, then stop and today. As long as they still the manufacturer. You know, get for done. As we all can see now, like a national issue, the coach the way they destroy the youth them. So like government need for step in because like they need for step in for stop the one the first way they import the push because now the first step plan they for do. Now where the thing available make the people and they will get away for smoke and it's very dangerous. They disturb the society. And and secondly, from my own view, like the need for give them medical attention because one we we know it's not addiction. Lots of us say like they do them willingly. As long as you don't addicted to them, so it can for be issue for the person self self within health and everything, they disturb everybody. So the need for like for make rehab centers, they need to talk to the people them, know their own take, like how they involve for the team. So man no like involve na put them put them inside. Lots of us say like they do them willingly. So like the need for make the the rehab centers and they for talk to the youth them and for the need for advocate like for stop this kush the imports of kush. My advice like they for be very be very very be careful because like I can explain some natural party in the enter and more time if you know you focus but even though you know you focus like you get peer pressure so you for know that you de mingle with and um you forget content mind. Forget content, man. If you know, say you know, a person will get a better future, brighter future. So, no need for destroy yourself and any other thing. That's a solve problem. Kush is bad. It's bad. It's really bad because, like, it affects the future leaders there for tomorrow. Because you, you see up here, if it's a man, start fine. But now, for this push business, also, it don't deteriorate, but it don't do it. You know, you can't trust yourself again. So, you don't see. And you got affect the country for tomorrow. And it will make tomorrow, but we will not even get future leaders them again. My own thinking, the, the boundary, they need to put security at boundary and the airport. Because if they put a tight security there, it will look better. Because the boundary and the airport, now the more things that you pass for come inside the country. The push not affect students them a lot. Like, even way we can come now with colleges them, we cannot pursue some of the friends them, brothers them, who start spying and at the end they get forget the stop. Like they're not able to continue or follow them. Like, this thing that affects them so in a way that they go stop or attend classes, begin learn, like leave classes on um, like all this stuff and all because this push as not as you begin to come. It is disturb you and all you know they will make you focus on the studies all this and that my own concerns i believe the government will put up certain security play um, policies and all like but put up a body we will set up for the vigilance for the watch and check this with colleges and make um no we're not gonna get like several students that we go involved in such practices you know, like, yes, we will stop them and for make them not allow them to take these things for the search and all this and that. And the classes, them check for other, other, for the cow, them, they put some, you know, 
something like that. Kush na bad thing. We all don't see how Kush they destroy the youth there, male and female. So and Natsu will be for say, as posting start, it's difficult for quit because it's very addictive. So me think say, government for sort remedies there, like for put mechanisms in place for stop this. Especially the importing because some people are not able to quit, but if you need come at all, then they go for look for ways. Some other people are there before say now nah, because they're depressed, they look for way for get to it for just forget about it. Some now as a result of poverty, stress, then thing and they. So if the question is cancer in the first place, they go look for other ways for tackle that. For me, they will manage and stress and then depression. And all that in there. So I think saying another them for stop and force. May not can inside the country in the first place. I don't see the outcome of those that are involved in the act of smoking kush. We see how they end up, most of them dirty, some with swollen feet, and even we, we see the after effect. So I think a way to stop this is to target the importers. The people that import the kush into the country, they should try to tackle this issue at the shipping port. Like they should stop this this substance from entering the country. I think they should stop it because it's not good for them. It's not good for the people around them. Um, we all know this has affected many, many, many families. Let me see, almost all the families in the country. So I think the youth should involve or engage in much more productive things than taking push. As you don't listen, the concern there of students there as you know that they expect the government for put strict measures as to whether for combat kush, but like kush come out our nation. Continue for follow and watch Liberty Online TV for all credible, factual and balanced news. Me na David Yanke CC the report. Right, welcome back. You still watch Liberty Better Show as we bring you uh, more information inside the program. You get to be live on Facebook and we um, YouTube page. We continue for look into the issue again for do with Kush, now the country, as yesterday we see the president of the Republic of Sierra Leone being made in speech with regards to the public health emergency we if we don't declare yesterday. Well, for can we we'll talk on this, we still uh, this guy forget um, Robert Kondema, we are the co-founder and chairman for Health Network Sierra Leone. We we also be done day into this particular issue of the Kush, now the country. Good morning, Robert, and welcome again to the breakfast show. Good morning, Khadija. Good morning, the people that are the, that are the, the wider world that listen to and watch Liberty TV online. All right, quickly, earlier they asked you, say, what's on a makeup of President Bioy address yesterday? Who said it been declared the Kush pandemic as a public health emergency? Is it Was it timely or on a be expect that declaration day earlier than yesterday? Well, um, first of all, um, the the call yesterday be timely because at a time when the, we young people here as a crossroad, um, we as a civil society organization, them with other stakeholders, them and body concern, religious bodies and other like-minded Sierra we be done the call the president for take up an action for see how we able to address this problem. Uh, of course. The president's speech yesterday was so eloquent speech, and um, the speech don't give hope to young people. Them um, for ensure the narrative need for be changed, and how we for come together collectively effort for uh, for eradicate and combat this menace our society. We don't create a serious public health concern. And one thing the president made very clear yesterday. And one thing we all have to accept the facts here, the issue of the fight with a Kush is a global fight. Not the only salon, even the US, they get a serious crisis in fighting against ASD drugs with this Kush issue. So the president is speechless that they don't give hope to young people. And at this, we would expect from them, they provide the leadership, especially where they institute a public health emergency. 
how we can for address this current problem. We really we for not stand firm as a nation, as a one family, irrespective of a tribe, irrespective of a religion, irrespective of whatever differences we get. These are a problem who will affect you all. The Kush no don't come, the Kush, what they talk about, not a big, you run a FPC, or run a SAPP, we run a NGC, or run a UMPP, we run a PLP. We, everybody is affected by default. So if the president don't come yesterday, don't talk tough, and put modality in place, a strategy, and how we will address this problem, where will be things of the past. And I can how we fight the Ebola and how we fight the COVID and the sexual offenses will be where we say the, 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 the case we don't drastically reduce. And I think saying another approach and the president says we're supposed to use this time around and save the future of today, not tomorrow, when our young people them. So the, the the president um uh, his speeches have been timely for able for declare the public health emergency on kush because plenty of people would expect see the president for them make a statement before this time so what you have to do with process a guideline you understand um the, the speech got a time where everybody be so desperate for see how the president for provide a leadership and he, as the first gentleman, don't provide the leadership. You know, in governance issues, in governance, if you listen what the president will say, he say it will already be done set up a tax presidential tax force team, where headed by the chief minister, where we don't start this process way back. In the governance, you know, like something like the rope, like you give the cow, you hold the rope. It gets people them where they appoint a position of trust. We should provide leadership in addressing these issues. And I think, say, the president reaffirm in government commitment for see how best we can able to address this problem. One, the president say, of course, the school should not deadly about something like global crisis that that make it don't set up again. Apart from those tax forces we don't set. This is a tax force team where don't set, where comprises of so many NGSs, MDAs, religious body, international partner, community organization, and see how best we're able to reach out to the community. Because the issue what they discuss here, like community-led approach. We go talk on radio and television, but if we not go down to the community who are affected, so that the community will take ownership, just like all before Ebola. We need community mobilization. We go to those communities and there, identify key players. Them, we involve the stakeholders, especially the local authorities, the chief, or the paramount chief, or the tribal elders of those communities and there, and see how we institute bylaws and how we able to tackle and fight Ebola we come out of this country. Here. So, in this issue, what we talk about COVID, uh, Kush, it has to be a community-led approach where we have to go to the community, engage the community, and let the community take ownership and see how we can fight against the deadly. See, when I really am full effect to young people, and, and no make any mistake about this, the president also emphasized, say, the Kush, now a death trap. Now, really, really dead trap to young people. And I think, say, as in government, don't already say, don't put morality in place in terms of um, uh, five pathway strategy, in terms of awareness raising, care and treatment center, social service support, social skill training, and community engagement. Them. And I think, say, this, this, uh, these are sound laudable ventures. And say, say how this government is going to protect young people. Um, because for we, we're very so passionate about young people. Um, and the sector of the work, we've worked there for so many years with advocates for young people. Um, they turn the issue of drugs and the issue of alcohol. And everybody knows, saying, I didn't find anything we don't do for over the years, for the last 10 to 12 years now. Now, we all work there one day. So if it, this, when I global fight, we are not going to say we will just punk on one day post. Hey, government, government. We as community background ownership on this fight. We can only just rely on government. Because one mama, a bond I want to get picky, what they expect say, 
That picking day, now you can look up, sir. I'm afraid we for we get for. I'm afraid we for let you for now because of time. We really appreciate we you joining in at the program as you actually don't able for talk on within the president in speech mean to the people of Sierra Leone in the fight against um, this particular kush. All right, quickly. Oh, they look a few messages then we want to send at the program this morning. The first one they take now from Mahmoud Fofnati. I don't know why it takes years for this government to address this issue. Also, why should the police issue a press release before going to search someone's house? It's uh, ridiculous. All right, I'll take this one from Mahmoud uh, Fufana now with Facebook page. You say Khadija, mind you, robot is part of the administration, so you don't you don't expect balanced information from him rather than praise singing the president. See for the media newspaper and a Facebook, they say the problem at the University of Sierra Leone are numerous, especially at FBC. The government should intervene and save students from the present economic hardship, which has prevented some of them from paying fees. However, students who promote themselves without the required grade are deceiving themselves. They lack ethics, integrity, and accountability. All right, I'll take this again from uh, Mahmoud Fofana on our Facebook page. He said, I don't know why it takes years for the government to address this issue. Also, why should the police issue a press release before going to shut someone's home? It's ridiculous. See, for the media and newspaper, they say it's just too late for the government to declare a state of health emergency for a diabolic drug like Kush. Sources say Kush was brought into the country since 2019, and evidence of its destruction was seen all over the place, but the government did very little to salvage the situation. Some of us have written articles calling on government to declare Kush issue a state of health emergency. However, better late than never, even though we have lost many young people in the country. All right, last one I will take from a Facebook page. They come up from Mahmoud Fufana. I say, imagine a so-called civil um, society activist as PR for government. These guys are, are deceitful. The last one I will take from now, they come up from Bakai Banks, our Facebook page. They say, speeches without the will to fight the drugs epidemic is just an empty rhetoric. If the president is really serious in the fight against Kush and other harmful drugs, he got to start with his family members that have been implicated in this issue. All right, from the messages then, they now so they wrap up this Friday edition of the Breakfast Show. Many thanks to Naolo the Watch We. Many thanks to you who contribute to the program by way how you send we, you text message through the comment section now all the platform the whole day now facebook youtube and also our website many thanks to now always continue for share with programs them when i always continue for like liberty online television now to now support make with there so every day for bring counsel on reliable information them when i continue for support liberty online television when i continue for share all the programs them now facebook youtube and safe now whatsapp platform then so that more people go join the liberty online family for they get credible and authentic information as so they are so very fearless inclusive and would they make sure say all voices count especially with camp and burning issues them would they affect the livelihood of Sierra Leone and them now then they will stand there for as Liberty online television Mina Karija Bangu I wish you all a blessed weekend and Mina Al Hassan Kuma have a blessed Friday bye bye